For today's history video, I'd like to talk about what makes Russia tick. Uh, now that we have removed the veneer, the coating of communist ideology and, uh, and communist expansionism, what is the underlying cause for Russia acting the way it does, for their autocracy, for their ongoing imperialism? And Henry Kissinger has a fascinating answer. He says that Russia is a country that's composed of almost 200 smaller nations, independent ethnic groups, that would much rather be their own country. Some of them are breakaway republics from the USSR, uh, the Soviet Union, who have declared their independence and are now functioning as separate countries. Some of them are countries within countries and ethnic groups within ethnic groups, not only in the, uh, the former breakaway republics, but also in Russia itself. And they've never amalgamated. They've never melted. It's never been to a melting pot. They still exist. They're still separate, and most of them still hate each other. And uh, given half a chance, they'll escape. And as a result, the centrifugal tendencies of Russia are so enormous that the only way to keep Russia as a coherent whole is by trying to expand. That if Russia is trying to grow its borders and intimidating ethnic groups and countries on the border, it can intimidate and control the ethnic groups within Russia. That Russia cannot exist in a, in a state of stasis, in a state of stability, uh, because the frothing of the ambitions of its ethnic groups will drive it apart. And it's only by imperialist outreach to extend its borders that Russia can maintain a domestic coherence. And it's a brilliant theory. I think it's quite accurate. And um, it's because Russia came about not through uh, settlement and colonization like we did in the West uh, or through choice like we did through immigration, but by conquest. And uh, these folks still don't want to be conquered. And uh, the centrifugal forces are so strong. Then add to that an economy that basically is the same as Saudi Arabia's, uh, where Russia has a tremendous high-tech base and a great capacity in IT and could become an incredible IT superpower if it ever harnessed that. It remains essentially an oil republic, uh, a country dependent on oil and gas exports for almost two-thirds of its exports and about a third of its GDP. So it's in many ways like Saudi Arabia. And that amount of oil, that money that flows in freely from energy uh, from abroad to Russia, now is siphoned into the pockets of a deeply corrupt elite led by Vladimir Putin. What Putin has done in the last 20 years is to take over the oligarchy. And each of these oligarchs who were billionaires and received this oil money come flowing in have now been cut off from the money and then given the money back on condition that they hold it in trust for Vladimir Putin. Not institutionally, personally. He uses these oligarchs like savings accounts where he parks his money. Uh, and he doesn't uh, himself own the stuff so it can't be used against him in corruption. They own it, but he has it. And he can use it and buy it and sell it and make a profit from it. That's why the sanctions that Trump uh, is imposing on Russia are so important. Because what they do is they tell these oligarchs, this money can be taken away from you. you could, we could sanction you, which means you can't use the money. You can't put it in a bank, you can't wire funds, you can't receive funds, you can't borrow against it, you can't use it as collateral, you can't do anything with it. All you can do is put it under the mattress because we've cut you off from the global banking system. And this is a threat not to Russian power, but to Vladimir Putin's personal fortune and the money he's parked, stationed with the oligarchs throughout Russia. And the United States is threatening that money in two ways first by the, by the sanctions, but also by fracking, by the environment, by the work in the United States to drill down into slate rock 
explode the rock and then take the oil up as a result. And this has so magnified American oil reserves and is increasing our oil production basically by the rate of about almost a million barrels a day. Uh, so the United States will very soon, probably this year, eclipse Russia and Saudi Arabia as the number one oil producer. And the sky is the limit after that. And because of that, the ability to set oil prices and have high prices, which is the key to Putin's continuing to make money, is being eroded by America. So it's really important for us to understand those fundamental points about Russia. And that's why the Trump sanctions that have been imposed on Russia in the wake of its Ukraine invasion and its Crimean invasion and its human rights abuses uh, within Russia are terribly important. And it's why Putin will trade almost anything to try to get rid of them. Thanks for watching.